I'm Marcia Giesler and I worked for the Downers Grove Fire Department for 28 years. I've been retired for two years now. And I have to tell you, we're sitting here at the department. I still feel like I'm home. So um, I started in 1991 as a civilian. Didn't know very much about the fire. I knew nothing about the fire service. And to top that off, they gave me a uniform that was a white shirt. They might as well put a target on my back because the firefighters wondered who is she, why is she here, and why is she wearing a uniform? Um, so I, I really didn't know any different, but I knew what they hired me to do. So I just kept my eyes open. I learned a lot from all of them and from my boss and kind of just kept moving forward one foot in front of the other. So, um, you know, didn't leave stayed there, it got better and better every single year. Family first for me, all the way down the line. And um, I'm pretty fiercely loyal to my family, my friends, and, and my organization. Um, you know, once I, I felt I belonged here, don't you dare say anything about the Downers Grove Fire Department. Well, my husband and I have been married for 42 years, um, and we have a daughter and a son and five grandchildren. And I couldn't ask for anything more. That's what it's all about for me. I have to be honest, it was kind of an accident. Um, I think the stars just lined up. I was thinking about going back into teaching they needed someone for this position as an inspector slash educator. And this was at a time when NFPA was starting to say, maybe we can have educators work for the fire service and teach them about fire and fire prevention, but they know how to teach. So I did end up just kind of checking out this job thinking, well, let's try this. And I got it. Over time, I've thought about who is my mentor, and I don't have just one answer. I've been so fortunate my whole life to have many mentors. My, I, my grandma lived with us as I grew up, and so I had great I have great parents, and my grandmother was wonderful, and they laid the foundation. And I, I think that allowed me to figure out who my mentor should be, because I knew what my values were. I had teachers, I was in a good school system, and in the fire service, I can, I honestly can't name one person because I wouldn't want to leave somebody else out. But I, my mentors in the fire service have been at the national level, they've been fire chiefs, and some of my best mentors were actually some of our newer line firefighters. I learned a lot from all of them. I think the reason it's important to have a mentor is it kind of helps keep you on the right track and focus. And it's almost like you can look back and say, would he have said that? Or would he have done that? Or what would she want me to do? What would she do in this situation? And so it really helps, helps you focus forward. worked with kids a lot. I was in the school and I probably saw between 800 and 1,000 children every month, just the way our programs are set up. You cannot pick one single moment out of that. Every day was something new um, and just, just the look in their eyes and the fact that this was new to them and when I could see that they actually thought it was important or they would tell me they told their mom or their dad. That's what we want. So it was rich every day that I did that. But I think as I look back now, also one of my favorite moments was when I was getting ready to leave. And I knew that we wanted this program to be sustainable. And we are, by then, we had new firefighters, younger firefighters, and they were on board and they were out teaching in the schools. And one day I sat down and I said, hey guys, I just have to tell you, I am going to retire. And one of them said, well, what are we going to do? And I, I was surprised, but of course, a little flattered. And I said, you're going to keep doing what you're doing and you're going to teach others. What are your values? What are your priorities? What means a lot to you? 
and continue to, to function that way because it won't feel right if you don't. You can try out different things and then say, oh, I like a little of that, a little of that, and borrow what fits for you. So I really think you just need to really take a good look at who you are and that's gonna help you. Go for it and you know, it may take a little while, but if you find out this is not for me, for whatever reason, then you're young, you can try other things, but give it a little time. You know, it's not gonna be perfect right away.